Hi guys, Ethereal Awakening doing some readings. I wasn't going to do them anymore, but I was prompted tonight do some readings. So I'm jumping on here and doing some um, faithful servant that I am following my intuition. Uh, hoping that if somebody needs a message that I can get it out there for you. This one is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Energy is fluid. I could be talking directly to the Cancer or Cross Watcher looking in on a con Cancer. Um, use your intuition and decide which person the uh, story is talking about in the correct position. <laughs> I'll do my best to kind of separate them. Um, and time is irrelevant, really. Uh, this is, could be something that already happened, something that's currently happening, or something that's going to happen. Again, use your intuition and see where it fits in for you. And if it doesn't resonate at all, then the message isn't for you. Um, it is a general reading. So, without further ado, Cancer. Let's see what messages want to come through for Cancer. Messages of the cancer. Messages for cancer. Messages for cancer. first energy out is judgment so I want to say that you watcher or whoever you, one of you guys is in the position of you know judgment speaks about what is your what is yours is yours is always you can't lose something that's yours um, so you know if you've recently been parted from someone um, and you miss them you know it, it's that recognition that what is yours can never truly be lost and that time apart is simply time spent in in a, a personal evolutionary state so you know rather than sit in a misery where you know if so, like, kind of like if somebody had passed away you know, would that person want you sitting there missing them and, 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 and you know, ruminating over past things and past this and that? Or would they want you living your life, expanding your personality and, and your psyche and healing things about you that have been keeping you held back? Well, of course. So this judgment energy that's pulling out from one of you is definitely the realization of, you know, I can't just sit and... and and sit in the past because you cannot truly lose something that is meant for you and, and sharpening your intuition will open doors into what around you is yours and what's meant to just pass away as you know part of our story part of our tapestry but what is ours is truly ours and we can never lose it and it will come back to us so that's the energy of judgment. The moon energy, I, there's cancer card right there. This is about, you know, the unknown. This is about fears. Um, <clears throat> so there's definitely one person that's understanding. I want to say this maybe is a current split. You know, that that's the energy I'm getting is that one of you is seeing you know that the the split is necessary while the other one may be a little fearful uh, not sure how to take the next steps scared about the unknown what's coming next without the person that I've had with me you know whether it's a best friend a parent you know this could be about uh, somebody moving out of their parents house for the first time that kind of thing because um, judgment could definitely be the, you know, the parent who has to say goodbye to their child because their child's going to live, um, you know, solo for the first time. <laughs> but in that same token, knowing that that child's, you know, again, like what's truly yours is always your, you know, your baby's always going to be your baby. They're going to, you know, you have to push 
push away sometimes so that the growth and expansion can happen while the other one is lit, sitting in a little fear of the unknown. In the heart space, there's the page of rods. So there's a passion that's coming through as this newly budding uh, excitement. Almost like I, mean, I keep falling back to that same idea of like a parent saying goodbye to their child who's living on their own for the first time. It's like, this is new for me too, but I'm excited for you. Um, I'm not sure how to go about it. I'm not sure how to, you know, because how do you, there's no manual on how to live life, really. I mean, while there's all these books and things that we can learn, there's no real true correct way to do it so it's this passionate kind of you know pushing the baby bird out of the nest where if it's a, a relationship I want to say you guys both love each other dearly but you know maybe there's something that's come up that splits you up having to move for work you know something along those lines where it's this scary kind of excitement and the other energy has the ace of cups this other person is just gushing with love for you <laughs> or vice versa um, so there's definitely a lot of love between the two people in this reading um, and, and there's because it's the ace it's it's a new love it's this new emotional resilient kind of you know with this with this the sensation I have I can do anything. I can I can embrace anything, anyone. I can meet people I've never met before and identify with them on a level that I've never even understood because I have a, a understanding of love for myself that helps me, you know, branch out. So while there might be some fear of moving on or moving out or moving, you know, through the the you know, that fear is being trumped by love. And a good and a small dose of fear is is healthy, you know, especially when it comes to like a child moving out on their own for the first time. Possible outcome. I've got the five of swords as the first uh, first energy. So the five of swords is that when it all costs kind of mentality. And I think this is definitely, you know, no matter what, I will be victorious. Um, and, and it's. It, it, again, I keep flashing to a, a parent that's maybe, you know, having a child move out for the first time because this would be the attitude that you would have for your child like, my baby's going to make it no matter what. No matter what kind of adversary comes their way, you know, what kind of challenge they be, they've got it. They've got it, you know, in their head smarts, their street smarts, whatever, you know, book smarts. All of that is a full package. And when you have this energy... Um, in such a positive reading like I'm seeing here it's not about you know cutting your brother down to get ahead this is about no matter what comes my way I will I will be victorious I will find myself in a mental state that allows me to see the positive uh, the win in 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 every situation you know whether it's a, a physical loss where you lose money or lose property what it doesn't matter because you see the benefit in it you say well I needed to lighten my load or whatever you know whatever the situation is your men mental state allows you to be the victor and the star card in the other position so this person is definitely looking you know into the future with you know hope and 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 eager eagerness and and the the same kind of tenacity that a child moving out I, I hate coming back to that same metaphor but that's just the one that resonates the most with me is that you know while we might be separating while we might not be together every day like we had been while we you know things are going to be different change is inevitable in life the understanding in this reading is that what's coming isn't bad that we are manifesting exactly what we want in our reality by our attitudes and the attitudes here are so on point like it's almost like i, I if this is a romantic relationship that's maybe splitting up um you guys do love each other and you're seeing the, the reasons for splitting up very positively that you both are going to be bigger better people at the end of the day for it and that you know 
the necessity for not being able to stay together for whatever that is because sometimes we in our relationships just come to that crossroads where we we can't stay together for whatever reason and and both of the people in this relationships are are, are, are cheering each other on even from a different physical position underneath the deck I've got the Knight of Rods. So again, where the page was in the heart space, we've got the Knight here. So this is an energy that says we both have a zest and zeal for, for what's coming that will, you know, be able to energetically send each other no matter how much distance is between us. You know, this Knight is, you know, battle ready. And again, with that Five of Swords, having the mental capacity, the passion, you know, there's no failing here because even in a moment of what seems like a failure, you're learning the lessons and you're taking them into your into your repertoire as something. It's your artillery. It's something for you to use in the future that you, it, it's not it's not really a failure. It's a learning opportunity. It was a stepping stone. So for me, Cancer, I say that this reading is just simply about two people who, while they might not be able to be together, they realize that their energetic bond will always be there and that, you know, life is an oyster and it's got lots of things to offer. So the ideas here are, are very straightforward, very promising. So the fear that I saw in the beginning is simply that healthy dose of fear that, you know, comes with doing something new. Um, these are your messages, uh, Cancer. I hope they helped. Bye.